Hello guys, today I'm going to create a simple 3D cheese slicer game. That's the one you can see on the screen with a knife and a box. So let's start our game with creating a new project. For this game to work I will need two assets from Unity Asset Store. The first one is Mesh Slicer. You could use any slicer asset, not exactly this. What it have to do is only somehow cut a mesh. And this katana asset, it will be our knife that will slice a cube. Let's import them. Now I need to prepare our scene. Add a box. Add a knife. Then I need to add a slider that will move our box left and right. To process a slider events I need to create a new script Game Manager. You can see this gear icon on Game Manager script. As I read from the internet it's some Unity bug so don't think about it. And I need only one instance of this component, so I will create an empty game object that this component will be attached to. Call it controllers. Now I need to create a method that will be called when I move the slider. Open game manager script. Add public property for our box. And create a method that will be called when our slider is moved. What we are doing here is just updating box X position when our slider moved. So now we need to connect our slider with our method. To do this on slider component in inspector, we have on value changed property section. We need to press plus. Assign our controller's game object and select our method. Game Manager, Move Box. But there is also one bug from Unity. It doesn't detect that this method would be called as dynamic method, with dynamic value that will be taken from our slider position. So the value will always be zero. It won't be changed if you move the slider. To fix this, we can go to Debug View, find our property, and change its mode to Event Defined. Now go back to Normal View. We forget to assign our box to our box property. Then go back to slider and move it. Now it work. We just need to correct min and max values. Yeah, perfect. Now we have to do the same for our katana to move up and down. That's it. And as our box and katana is movable object, we will add a rigid body as kinematic. Our katana will be a trigger. And to detect collision between a knife and a box, we will write a new script, katana. And it will have on trigger enter method. It will be called when collision is happened. There we somehow have to notify our game manager that a collision happened and it have to slice our cube. To do this I will add a singleton pattern for our game manager. Maybe it's not the best practice to use singletons. It is also known as anti-pattern, but for our demonstration that's what I need. Then I will create a cut method. And the target will be our cube, or something that will collide with our knife. 
then we need to somehow slice our mesh for mesh slicer I said it will look like this first we are trying to find bz sliceable component on our target game object if the target don't have it return then it creates a plane the normal of the plane is pointed to the right direction so it will slice our box horizontally the distance is zero so our box will be sliced at the center of our coordinate system and then it calls a slice method add object slicer sample script for our cube assign a deformed material that will be in the middle of sliced parts and we forget to add our katana script to our katana let's play that's it it was sliced but now we need to somehow roll our sliced part as we're moving our knife for this to do i prepared a shader i don't want to go deep to describe how this shader work because it's not shader tutorial i will say that we have some properties tessellation up direction should be configured according to up direction of your object and roll direction is the direction it will be rolled to so radius of rotation and x and y position it will be a start point of rolling of our sliced part then here we define the same properties tessellation and then apply rotation according to our properties that's it so create a material that will use our shader and apply it to our box the up direction of our box is y so change it to y and it have to be rolled to the right direction something like this Also assign this material to our object slice sample script. And now we need to update this material properties as we move our knife. To do this, we need to remember the object that was cut from our cube. We can do it here in callback method. This method will be called when the slice finished and it will have a result. Out object pose is our right part of the box that we want to be rolled. How do I know that our cut part is the positive part of slice result? That's because our slicing plane normal is pointed to the right direction. So everything on the right side of our plane will be a positive result of the slice. And everything on the left side of our plane will be a negative result. Let's try to slice it again. And let's check how our material properties are working. So to let it work properly, we have to assign x value to the middle of our sliced part. It will be something like 0 0.4. And y position is the position of our knife. We could also increase radius and add a tessellation. Exposition we can get from our object mesh bounce center. We are taking our cut part, get mesh filter, go shared mesh bounce center exposition, and then this exposition will go to material property point X. Also, we need to update our point Y position when our katana moved. And we need to somehow control that these properties won't be updated if we didn't slice anything yet. To solve this, I'll add another variable in progress. At the start, it will be false. And then if the slice succeed, it will be true. And if it's not in progress, just return. Do not update our materials properties. Yeah, something like increase tessellation and decrease radius now we want this to not roll back when we move our knife up so we need to save y position and update it only if it's minus it than previous one so if our new y position is less than it was before 
do not update it and use this value for our material. We need to reset this y position at the slice start. Also, I want our sliced part to be detached when the knife hits the ground. If our y position is 0 or less, set kinematic to false. And in progress also will be false. That's it. Our super game is ready. Hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye.